Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers yet again, doing another top three video. This time, talking about the draft again, talking about the three edge rushers I believe the 49ers should draft if they do trade out with the number two overall pick because that is a legitimate option that the 49ers want to do. Although, I recommend them keeping the number two overall pick and drafting somebody like Williams or Josh Allen. If they want to trade down, if they believe they can find another good edge rusher within the middle of the first round, then that's okay, in my opinion. Gonna be talking about that three other edge rushers to go for for the 49ers to target should be a fun one hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah tonight's the nfl schedule release i will have this video out before eight o'clock when the schedule does get released and i'll have a video out tomorrow talking about it so no throwback thursday tomorrow i'll do that for another time please like and subscribe to support my channel that would definitely help me out a lot click that bell notification to get notified of future videos share this channel share everything all things 49ers to fellow niner faithfuls go fund me page i got until april 30th to raise 350 dollars from you guys so hopefully you guys are in to this i'm definitely into this your donation is really appreciative let's get this video started right now the top three edge rushers for the 49ers if they decide to trade down number three klein farrell clemson i mentioned it before on my top three edge rushers for the 49ers a long time ago and if the 49ers do trade down to get him within the top 15 20 pick I kind of wouldn't be disappointed at all because I think he has the right tools. He has the right size. He had a really good college career. Like Josh Allen, he took a big risk coming back to college in his redshirt junior year and had a really good successful campaign. Now it's looking like it's paying off. He's going to be one of the top edge rushers in the middle to a little bit late in the first round. That's a good thing right there. Farrell, for me, as I mentioned before, one thing I love about him is his ability to get off the edge really quickly. The second the ball is snapped, he's already starting to move already. That's a good thing to catch the offensive tackle, offensive guards off guard and get to the quarterback. I think that's a really good ability right there. It reminds me of Derek Thomas when Thomas was playing for the Kansas City Chiefs. He had the ability to do that. He's looking like he's jumping offsides or neutral zone infraction, but he's able to do it right the second the snap is taken. And that's what I love about him. Really good guy being able to get off the edge really quickly. The only concern I have for him personally, is he ready for the NFL week one? Because I think he's more of a raw talent than an NFL polished ready edge rusher. That's the only thing I have for him. I don't want him to be like Shaq Lawson from the Buffalo Bills. That's not a good sign for them when they drafted him a couple of years ago so hopefully he gets in the route of being a really good edge rusher and yeah we'll see what happens he's an option for the 49ers in my opinion and if they drafted him in the middle of the first round they do trade out of their second pick overall then i wouldn't be disappointed at all number two montez sweat mississippi state this guy is freaking fast as you can see from the nfl combine he ran a 441 which i think is the fastest 40 yard dash for any defensive lineman in combine history that's really impressive right there shows the speed shows what he's capable of running up to to the quarterback also he's a really good talent in my opinion for the 49ers if they decide to trade down some concern for me personally for him is is he ready to play in the nfl because some of the guys in college football the offensive tackles they're not as big as nfl tackles can he be physical can he get very violent can he get up in the offensive tackles face pretty much in the nfl that's a concern for me but other than that he looks like a really good dude he has a lot of upside he's kind of a project a little bit but if they can get him to be more polished and i think he could be a very very good edge rusher in the nfl also another concern is he had a minor heart condition i don't know if that's going to drop him down a couple of, of spots in the first round maybe in the second round even but other than that i think he's cleared to play by doctors to compete in full football activity so that's not really the biggest concern for me unless he hasn't been clear that's a very big concern i think he's cleared to play football in full capacity sweat looks like a good dude i saw the tape he needs to be a little bit more polished but other than that i think he could be a really good player for the 49ers with him d ford and what have you Finally, coming in at number one as the biggest edge rusher prospect for the 49ers if they decide to trade the number two overall pick is Brian Burns, Florida State. I think this guy, out of all of the guys that can come in the middle of the first round all the way to the late first round, he's probably the best edge rusher in my opinion. He has all the tools. He looks very NFL ready. I think the only concern for him is his size. He's only 249 pounds for an edge rusher. I think he can bulk up pretty big during the offseason if he gets drafted by us. If we trade down, that's not really the biggest concern for me, but his tape... In Florida State, he looks like the most ready edge rusher, in my opinion, in the middle of the first round of all the edge rushers. He has all the speed. That's probably the biggest thing I like about him. Once he gets through the offensive tackle, man, he can just get to the quarterback really, really fast. Like Farrell, he has 
burst of speed in the line of scrimmage, but this guy can just get to it real quickly. He has some nice techniques like the swimming thing or whatever to get the tackle out of the way. I think one time he did a play where he got the tackle, he spinned around and then got to the quarterback. That is freaking impressive right there. Burns, he looks like he has all the talent. He has all the things you want in an edge rusher for a 4-3 defense. Fits this system, I think, perfectly for the 49ers. The only thing he needs to do really is to bulk up and make sure he can deal with the big offensive tackles in the NFL because, like I said, the tackles in the NFL are a lot bigger than the ones in college, so hopefully he can deal with that. But I think he can. Not too bad right there. The biggest thing I like about him, as I said, is speed. Speed, getting to the quarterback. That's a really good combination right there. That's pretty much it. You guys wanted to talk about this real quick because trading down the number two overall pick, I've heard some rumors about it. Might as well talk about edge rushers that they can pick up in the later parts of the first round. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys discuss about this in the comments below. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. As always, comment below on who you think the 49 should draft in the middle of the first round if they decide to trade the number two overall pick. Please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot. I'll be catching you guys up tomorrow when I talk about the schedule release and what I think about it. I'll see y'all then. Bye guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Go Niners all day.